it's a hell of a game. I mean, uh, uh, we respect their program and their kids ultimately, and um, we knew that physically they would be uh, better, you know, because uh, starting Summers, Green, and Hibbert, um, we weren't going to be able to match up that way. And uh, I think we got back, knocked back uh, because of that, just a, a little bit like against Marquette, where just the athleticism and, the, you know, you, you, got, you can't practice that. You've got, you got to experience it. Uh, in the first half, I, I thought Brian and Marty really kind of held a ship for us, afloat. I have to say that because Navy beat Army today. All right, and uh, the uh, uh, they were they they were good, and and even though we screwed up in the last minute and didn't get shots off in our last two possessions, we were only down by seven, and had the ball to start out the half. So uh, the group we started, again, Marty gave us a little uh, boost. Um, Brian did, and then I thought G and John responded well. They did not play well in the first half, and they, you know, which that's going to happen. But they didn't wait until the next game to play well. They played well in the second half, which was good. The market has been up the whole time, and I thought Josh played like a star tonight. You know, when we uh, went through him with the ball, uh, he made some really big things happen, and he's become a very good defensive. Uh, and in Greg, obviously, this is his best game, you know, not of his career, but of this year. And uh, he made, he finished a couple times on drives, he and John, that uh, were manly drives, were manly finishes. So, proud of our guys. The crowd was great. Uh, it was just, you know, one of those good Saturday nights to be in here, and we were, we were fortunate to win, and uh, and again, I want to say, you know, we 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 unbelievably respect and what they're doing and their and their kids. So it's a, it's been a heck of a series. Any questions? Talk about the decision to put Paul's back in the starting lineup. Yeah, well, he's you know, it's it's not like a big decision. It's just a matter of when you do it. You know, and not having him in there was also trying to get other guys off because he was only. Minutes, and so when he played them, you know, we were just trying to figure out when those minutes were, and uh, and then tonight we just said it's time to break some limits, you know, like you got to play more than 20 minutes, you got you got to go after it, and um, he got off to a little bit of a shaky start uh, with a couple turnovers, but then he really showed a lot of poise and toughness and. Uh, just got to, he's still not in the shape that he will be in, but he, he, he played with a lot of courage tonight and did a good job on Wallace. I like Wallace. Wallace is a very, very good guard. You know, they're much better. And, um, you know, he only had seven points, which is a big thing for us. Mike, did it seem like that one play, too, when he took the ball, got the rebound on Hibbert's miss and just blew down the court for that layup? Big play. Like the old Greg, you know? Well, I, I I think better than the old Greg. You know, the old Greg was good. Those plays are above. Those are big. Those are plays of a sophomore Greg, and, uh, and those are plays that you know he'll make you now that he's coming back from this injury. Yeah, well, our defense has been good. You know, I mean, it's been not just good, it's been real good. And it shows how much these kids are together. play well. It hasn't translated yet on offense, but tonight it did at times. Uh, uh, we, ha we stopped following them. You know, like we had that 47 to 43 lead and we fouled them. I mean, they weren't bad call. We fouled them. And then uh, Green went to free throw, hit four straight free throws. Hibbert got a three-point play opportunity. And then after that, we stopped following him. Part of that was we, we changed our point of pickup. 
You know, it was more top of the key, and we switched everything, and uh, um, which is kind of a little bit like zone, you know, like matching up. But uh, and the, end of the doubling of the post, Wojo did a really good job of pr our preparation in um, doubling on the drill, you know, uh, so they couldn't get a fluid move into the lane. They'd have to shoot over, you know, along the baseline and. Uh, and our kids did that. You know, they executed. You know, Steve did a good job of scouting them, and and our kids did a really good job of executing. Can you talk about the transition from JJ and Sheldon to these guys that you have How challenging has it been? No, it's completely here and here, and all both. It's not like good and bad. It's like it's all good, but here is veteran. And, you know, we call play for – we're going to run that play and we're going to probably get a shot and we got a chance of hitting it or getting a rebound. <coughs> for, um, with, with this team, um, one, you have to figure out who you're going to call the plays for. Uh, and no one has really stepped up yet in that regard. So it's like a team that has to score together instead of having one or two guys. Uh, but I really love my team. I, and I – got kind of emotional at the end of the game because I wanted m to make sure that our guys just people understand. You know, it's a big win. You know, you go in our locker room, you know, a lot of times at Duke when we have a veteran team, w winning is taken for granted. The joy of being in a game like this and the, the camaraderie that's developed. And our locker room was great tonight. It was so good. And that's why I wanted to kind of set the stage for that on the court. Because I have to be real hard on them. But they also have to see us have fun with them. And uh, so it's, 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 it's totally different. And it's, it's really good. Uh, it, it's, but we're going to have a team like that. that could be real steady. This team, you know, it's going to be a, uh, hopefully not a roller. Coaster, but it, it's, it won't be a smooth ride. Let's put it that way. I don't recall many times watching a 7 2 guy die when the pool would get the ball. Yeah, our, yeah Bill, they're, they're playing hard. You know, they're, um, they want to please. They want, you know, they have some great attitudes. They're just young, you know. And they have this thing about being at Duke, you know, where people. May not want them to be young. They or they, they want it to be perfect, and that ain't that's not going to happen. And so I'm, I have to make sure that we enjoy this. It's like you have to teach our culture again a little bit. And the students were great tonight. They, you know, the stands were filled, and it was like uh, an old time game tonight. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Good luck, man. Thanks. Good luck.